Only on K2, bullets flying, narrowly missing a father and his son. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Deborah Knapp. I'm Brian Wood in tonight for Steve Dunn. K2's Megan Kalkstein is live in Southeast Portland right now. This victim tells you this was a very close call. A very close call for both men who were actually in two different rooms at the time. Witnesses tell us that there were six shots fired out here. And actually, we can tell you the victim lives in that top unit there in the corner. He says that one bullet went through the window there. And with two people inside, it was amazing that no one got injured. From inside, you can see the chaos happening outside. It was quiet there for a second, then I heard pop, 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 pop. People are screaming, hiding behind here, over here where the store is. No, call 911, call 911. I looked out and I was like, oh, I better get back inside because I didn't know if the dude was still going to start shooting. When Gerald Barnett got back into his apartment on 122nd and Burnside, he realized just how lucky he and his dad actually were. I was watching a movie and I was kind of tired. I rolled over. I heard like pop, pop, pop. And then I heard something hit my wall. So I jumped off my bed, I crawled, and I was like, get, get on the ground. A single bullet pierced his dad's window, hit two walls, two separate rooms, narrowly missing both father and son. If I got up and walked to the bathroom, like, where the door was, it would hit me right here. I went through. Like, if he was on the computer, because it was right by the computer, he got shot. Portland police say Sean Tapio, Tavares Winchester, and a 16-year-old were on the nearby Max platform Thursday night. They say the 16-year-old pulled a gun on an unidentified man. The pair struggled over the weapon, and several shots rang out. They say as he was running away, that unidentified man then fired his gun back at the group. I got up, looked out the window, and... Um, everybody was running that way. There's a lot of gang activity around here. I mean, you can see the graffiti and stuff. Neighbors say this isn't the first shooting around here, but Barnett says this one hit too close to home. It's time to get out of here. Now, police say that Sean Tapio also pulled out a gun, but they do not believe that he actually fired any shots. As for that 16 year old, well, we're told that he faces attempted murder charges. Again, police say that they believe this is a gang related shooting. Again, no one was injured. We're live in Southeast Portland. Megan Coxine, K2 News.